hello guys hello people welcome back to hot ninja entertainment where you get the latest news and entertainment from nigeria please consider to subscribe and put on your notification bell god bless you as you do so and god bless my subscribers as well so guys without wasting much time guys we are declaring inam de kanu the leader of ipop and ecn wanted for the killings destructions of property of northerners residing on uh, and undertaking their lawful businesses in the southeastern part of Nigeria. We of the Northern Consensus Movement, NCM, an amalgamation of more than 75 organizations of Northern Extraction have taken it upon ourselves as active and as active and responsible citizens of this country, Nigeria, to state in clear in equivocal terms and without any form of ambiguity that one, we believe Nigeria is a democratic nation under a democratically elected government. Two, we call on all countries of the world to respect our sovereignty as a nation. Three, that Inam Dekanu, the leader of IPOP, is the man and brain behind the killings and destructions of properties belonging to innocent northerners residing in southeastern Nigeria carrying out their legitimate businesses using his proscribed terrorist organization, IPOP slash ECN. You are all aware that Nam Dekanu jumped bail while facing traceable uh, charges against the Nigerian states. Northern Consensus Movement, in collaboration with these organizations, I are hereby declaring Nam Dukanu, uh, the spiritual leader of IPOP and ECN Wanted, for crimes against humanity and for instigating the killings of innocent northerners residing in southeastern Nigeria via his hate speech. We call on both the US government, that is the United States government, the British government, as the champions of democracy, the US government, the German government, and the British government, as champions of democracy, rule of law, and freedom of speech and expression, to kindly and humbly respect Nigerian sovereignty, facilitate repatriation of Nam Dekanu back to Nigeria so that he can face his terrorism and genocide charges against innocent citizens of Nigeria. Northern Consensus Movement, in collaboration with this organization, has placed a bounty. We are placing a bounty of 100 million naira. We are placing a bounty of 100 million naira as an offer to anyone who can produce Inam the Kanu alive, hell and hearty. Please take notes. Whoever can produce Inam the Kanu alive, hell and hearty on angels. To us, uh, 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 for onward delivery to security agencies for pro for his continuous prosecution. What does we are from me? It means freedom, liberty, fairness, equity, and justice. In practical terms, these are very good sounding words. Mm -hmm. But in practical terms, what does we are from me? Confederation. So, a weak centre, very, very strong regions. Absolutely. Have you had a change of mind, therefore, about getting an independent Biafra? Because that's what I seem to be hearing. No, I'm not changing my mind, no. An independent Biafra means going back to where we were before the white man came. Okay, so you're not talking about a federation when you say confederation. You're not talking about a federation as part of Nigeria. You're talking about total independence. Absolute independence. Complete independence. Now, is there anything that can happen 
that will make you change your mind about this particular direction. No. So it is either Biafra or nothing else. Or death. Yes. Or death. That's right. If push comes to shove, yes. will you go to war? No, because truth is a far more potent and deadlier weapon than bullets and mortars. So truth. no war. You've ruled out the. Absolutely, war. no war. No, no war. When I say Biafra or death, I'll keep pushing. Either I am alive. I die in the process, I won't stop. Allow me to repeat, if you don't mind. Had sovereign national confidence been convened by the powers that be, where every ethnic national, I said every, I don't care if there are 600, I don't, I don't care. Everyone's all the 500 all of us want together to say, this is all, others can delegate, I don't know, uh, uh, powers to, to other people to attend on their behalf. See down to say, what type of country do we want? Sit down, discuss, agree. I can begin to perhaps submit. To is it position. too late? It is way too late. They've killed too many people. They've ruined too many lives. They've wasted too many souls. How do we bring those people back? If the federal government, given the agitation that is going on, becomes convinced that you know what these people have a point and it is time to actually address all these issues mm -hmm. and they begin to systematically address some of these issues would you change your mind no because of the deceptions of the past no trust no trust aburi was there it was negotiated nothing happened 1968 if i recall mm -hmm. and the confab report what became of it how about the three hours Reconciliation, reconstruction, and heaven knows what else. What became of them? Nothing. Calabas Seaport is not working. Can you tell me why it's not working? It's a seaport. Used by the colonial masters. Why is it not working today? How about you, Guacha? Seaport. Why is it not being used? Well, why not worry? Why must we allow only Lagos to function as a viable seaport? In England, where I used to live, you had Liverpool, you had the Southern Jews, Portsmouth, House of Hampton. Everywhere, you have um, harbors and, and, and ports. So why must you have only one? I've heard people say these are very valid arguments mm -hmm. and that these are things that are to do with bad governments. So um, the average Biafran, to use your phrase, or Igbo man in the Igbo, um, is facing poverty much in the same way that the average guy in your base state is facing poverty. And so these are issues of governance. You don't agree with that? I agree completely. Okay. So if that is it, why isn't the agitation about tackling the problem, which is ensuring good governance, perhaps starting from locally? Because part of the allegations against you is that you don't confront your political leaders in the East and you'd like to blame Abuja for everything. Mm. Because the way I would want to solve a problem is not how a flying man would solve it. You really believe I, this is I, an ethnic thing and the ethnic. approach is different? Yeah. The approach is different. No, it's not ethnic. It is more to do with value system. Right. The way you may want to solve a problem could be markedly different from how I do mine. What is the geographical uh, makeup of Biafra, as far as you are concerned? This Biafra that you want. So, for example, if we're doing a referendum, where will that referendum take place? Is it only the five? It's on, no. It's okay. It's on, which is River State by Elsa, Delta, Anambra, Imo, Enugu, Egoi. Cross River. Akwaibon? Of course. Right. Those are the coastal. Basically. By Elsa? Yes. Southeast and south south without Edo State. Without Edo State. That's correct. And then including Igeda, Idoma. Right, the Benways. So That's the Igalas and part of the Absolutely. part of the Kogi, yes. Kogi State, right? Yes. Nielsen Wiki. The governor of Anambra, sorry, the governor of River State, yeah. made a statement, I think it was yesterday or day before yeah, yesterday, yeah. and said, you know, we should not be including River State yeah, so and the people. Decide, not him. I can decide for the Africans. They have to go and vote and convince the whole world that they want the Africans. It's not fair, it's only one man, one man, one vote. 
the, what if they're not even willing to take part in the referendum? Because I've had people from the South South, for example, from Bielsa, I've had people from Cross River. I think um, there's a famous um, actress, Kate Henshaw, for example, wrote a long piece about why people of the South South don't want to be dragged into a place called Biafra. You're saying, regardless of what they say, you want a referendum in those parts? Because I know the majority of the people want a referendum. I was in Igbot yesterday. How do you know? I was there yesterday. I was in Igbot yesterday. You caught what happened. I was there yesterday. I should have been there to see what happened. Now, they would let it see me. I'm sure you know that. It's all over the place. They are very happy to see me. I bet Kate Henshaw wouldn't get such reception. Why should to go to Igbot? a big, popular Nollywood actress. I wouldn't necessarily... I, I can, no, I wouldn't I'm telling you, if I go to her village, Thank you for watching that video and guys before you leave don't forget to subscribe. See you guys in my next video.